How to find a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Hello, and welcome to Video Chug. Although your little one may think he's Harry Potter, he doesn't really have an invisibility cloak and a wand made from unicorn hair to keep him safe on the way to school. That's your job. So while you can let him worry about the dragons and dementors, it's up to you to worry about the traffic. Step one, work out the safest route. There's lots of hazards on the way to school. For him, they might be imaginary enchanted castles and ghostly ninja swordsmen. But in the real world, they are much more dangerous. The challenge is to make him see the real hazards, like cars pulling out of drives or junctions, and the things that can help him, like pedestrian crossings and footbridges. Step two, concentrate. One of the most important things you can teach your kids is to pay attention on their way to school. If they are rummaging in school bags or casting spells on their friends, then they'll be dangerously distracted at the roadside. Set a good example by ignoring your mobile phone if it rings and keeping chat with other parents to a minimum as you negotiate hazards like junctions or road islands. Your little wizards will grow up, knowing that the fun temporarily stops when you are crossing the road. Step three, find the safest place to cross. You probably still remember the Green Cross Code from when you were a child, and now it's time to teach it to your kids. Always cross the road at a safe place. Ideally, this means where there is a puffin, pelican, zebra or traffic light crossing, footbridge or traffic island. If you need to cross anywhere else, make sure you pick somewhere where you can see and be seen by oncoming traffic. Never cross at a bend in the road or near the top of a hill. Stop at the side of the road and stand back from the curb. Have a good look around for traffic and also listen for it as you can sometimes hear it before you can see it. Let all traffic pass. When the road is clear, walk straight across the road, not diagonally, listening out and looking for traffic at all times. Teach your kids that if they aren't sure, they should wait to cross. Step four, be bright, be seen. In some parts of the UK, it can be dark by the time the school bell rings for home time. On those long, dark winter nights, it'll be dark and gloomy, with bad visibility for drivers. So make sure your kids can be seen on their journey. You need to get them wearing fluorescent and reflective bits on their robes, which will light them up as if they'd just let off a Lumos charm with their wands. Good luck guiding your little wizards. Done.